Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got for you today? Can anyone recognise the pen? Well, what we've got is one of my favourite manufacturers. This is the Anotto the Pen, made by Delarue and Company Limited in London. And this model is the 4601B3. The pen is from around about the era of 1930s. The size of the pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel, 126 millimeters capped. Around the diameter of the barrel, it's 11 millimeters in diameter. As I say, this is a not of the pen. Slightly unusual. I mean, it actually came to me in quite a sorry state. And what we've done, we've cleaned it up, put a new, um, new cork washers, a new plunger washer inside, cleaned everything, and just give it a slight polish. Um, it's unusual in the fact that it may have actually had a chase pattern to the barrel at one time. Um, because if you actually look at the cap there, you can see that the cap is still quite pronounced. The chase pattern is still there. Whereas on the barrel, um, it, it's more of a smoother pen. Still, it's in much better condition than it was when I actually received the pen. Um, it comes with nickel trim. You can see to the bottom of the, the cap there, it's got this nickel... Uh, cap band if we take you to the clip there you can see it's got this nickel clip or a nickel ball clip if we show you a sideways view and then to the very top there you'll be able to see it's got the tdr for thomas delarue to the very top of the cap there we've got this sort of cap stud if you like to the very top there and this model is the plunger filler now for you people that don't know well what's a plunger filler it simply means that we've got this well what we'll do we'll actually show you that in a moment one thing i'd like to show you again the reason i find it quite unusual is that if i show you the barrel there it's quite a smooth barrel there doesn't seem to be any chasing now if i show you the barrel imprint you can see that the barrel imprint is still nice and clear and it actually reads a not the pen underneath there it's got thomas delarue and company limited london so that's why i find it unusual the imprint is still nice and clear although saying that there doesn't seem to be any sort of chasing pattern on the barrel but all in all still a beautiful pen Let's unscrew the cap for you. Let's show you the pen and the cap in different angles. Give it a few little twirls. Okay, now let's take you up to the section. Very recognisable section for these particular pens there. Slightly tapers towards the nib. Little ridge just to, just to the top of the section towards the nib. And if we show you the nib... Let's give it nice and close and keep it clear. And I'm hoping you'll be able to read. It says Delarue Onotto 14 carat London. And then just sort of slightly hiding, hiding towards inside the section. It has the number two. So this is a number two, a number two nib. There's a sideways view for you. And let's show you the, the feed underneath there. Very recognisable, sort of quite a plain Anotto feed underneath the pen. So coming back to what we were saying earlier, for you people that don't know, this is a plunger filler. And what it simply means is that we've got this sort of, if you like, this blind cap to the bottom. One thing I've not actually shown you, if I can find it over the camera okay hopefully you'll be able to see it there so there we go on these pens the model number is generally to the bottom to the blind cap there and you can see the model number being the 4601 so what we do we simply unscrew 
the plunger knob or blind cap and what we do we pull out the plunger like so and to fill these pens again for you people that don't know the pen fills by simply immersing the nib in the ink and quickly in one movement pressing the plunger down as far as it'll go now if I bring it a little bit closer I'm hoping you may be able to hear this sort of a slight popping sound from this particular area here once again there we go so what happens is the plunger hits a little area just to the top of the top of the barrel and it makes this popping sound and it draws in it creates well without being too technical I think it creates a vacuum and that allows the pen to fill with ink so let's bring on some ink I'm going to be quiet because hopefully you should be able to hear like a, a bubbling popping sound so immerse the nib in the ink okay so what we heard there is a lot of sort of bubbling on the downward stroke now what we need to do is screw the plunger knob all the way home so let's see how it writes so what we've got is a a notto a notto the pen by De La Rue and Company Limited as we said made in London we're dating the pen from the 1930s it's writing very nicely nice and smooth as you'd expect from these nibs because they are renowned to be lovely nibs to write with now as I'm chatting away to you and writing I'm hoping you can see there we're getting a little variation in the line so on the downward stroke we can get quite a broad line on the cross stroke we're getting a thin line so it's actually got a nice flexy nib so there we have it the Anotto a very nice writer some flexibility in the nib as you can see there we're getting a nice little variation in the line and the lovely thing about it it's a lovely lovely writer so let's pop that back down again now what I'll do let me put some tissue down just in case we we have a bit of an accident but what I'm going to do I'm going to you shouldn't actually do this while the pen's actually full because by pulling the plunger um, you may expel some of the ink incidentally one thing I'm not actually mentioned to you although the pen actually wrote okay there on the writing sample these pens have actually a shut off valve inside and what it means is that once you actually fill the pen generally what you need to do is just turn the plunger back slightly and what that does is open the plunger valve inside to let a little more ink flow so what I was trying to do there I was hoping as we was writing I was hoping it'd stop writing and then I could explain to you the reason why because what you need to do is open the plunger knob slightly for you to write and then when you're finished you just simply screw it back tight that closes the valve inside and prevents prevents any leakage so let's uh, unscrew the plunger and then pull the plunger knob all the way up there you go I'm hoping you could see some sort of sort of droplets and I'm going to just simply I'm trying to do this carefully <laughs> oh dear right don't you just love it when that happens okay that was that was my own fault I suppose but 
there we go I've now got ink all over my fingers so not a very very good ending to uh, to a review but what I'm going to do is well off camera what I'll do I'll empty the pen but what I was trying to do is just show you how much ink these pens actually hold because they hold a lot of ink but what we'll do we'll leave it at that I'll go and wash my hands and wash you know wash uh, the tissue and wash all the ink away I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below and also I'll I will be looking for a new home for the pen so let's try and find a new home for it uh, leave a comment below have you subscribed if not subscribe but for now I'm just going to say an inky bye bye